Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another episode of Wilson's A for Adventures. So today we're digging into the big guy. We're going to be trying to remove a bee colony from the ceiling. Um, and I'm actually just going to show you what the difference is. It's not really a ceiling we can climb into. It's really, really tiny. So we're just drilling the holes now. Be sure to check out how we do this. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please do so right now. We would love to have you along our journey in, in you know, honey and bee extractions and bee removals and bee farming. It would be really cool to have you along the journey with us. So be sure to hit that subscribe button and carry on watching it to see how we remove this big sucker from the roof. All right, so we tried to remove the second or the first one from the ceiling. And just to give you an idea as to how tiny the ceiling is, that is basically the ceiling right there. So... I mean, if I had to give an example of, of height of the ceiling, I mean, here's my hand. I mean, it's like a hand's width between the ceiling and the, the roof. So they're in there all the, way, all the way at the back. My dad's just drilling holes, this pilot holes, to break open the, the roofing so that we can actually remove them much easier later on tonight. So this was a peak hole to see where they were. Here we are now, just busy drilling holes, just to make it easier for the extraction tonight. And there we go. Get in there. Hmm? Get in there. from this house is absolutely amazing. I'm gonna see if I can give you guys a nice view. I'll just walk up the roof here, hope I don't fall through. Uh, you can't see too much, unfortunately, but there's a huge ravine running along here. And uh, this is just one massive wild fig tree. It's massive, 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 but really beautiful, beautiful tree, nice tree for bees to make a home nearby. And uh, there's a lot of foliage around here for them to harvest. The honey from this first box that we removed over there is actually very delicious. It's got a very fruity undertone, nothing like I've ever tasted before. And that's all due to the very, or well, the vast majority of wild fruit in this area, especially along the ravine that runs from along there through down the property over there. It's really unique, very unique. So we've managed to break open the one side and we've also gone along the edge. So what we'll do tonight is we will, we're going to actually loosen those two nuts right now against the, the wall and the bottom there. And then tonight what we're going to do is we're actually going to come and lift this whole piece up. It should snap along the perforated edge here. And then hopefully the other the wax will come with or it will stay on the ceiling. And then we will have to then put that inside of the... the uh, inside of the, obviously the catch box that we're going to be using with them but yes be sure to stick you'll see the video of the hive inside the ceiling that's really cool all right i'm going to give you an inside look into this hive never seen before it's going to be a bit wonky but i have to put the camera in on an angle but be amazed hopefully it works <laughs> there they are I can't wiggle the camera around too much in there. But there they are. That's okay. That's very interesting. So that's what we're going to be working with today. It's quite a big guy. Alright, so we're back here at the bees later in the afternoon 
um, we were going to come, we were going to do this in the evening rather than the daytime, because, just because most of the bees have come back as usual. And uh, so we've got our vacuum that we've just made, and uh, we're going to be lifting this roof, and hopefully they stay behind, um, so that we can actually extract the comb neatly. But if that doesn't stay behind, then they're going to be stuck to the ceiling of that uh, ceiling board, and it's not going to be as nice. It's going to be very messy, very full of honey everywhere. But uh, you'll be seeing our little workspace right now on the roof. Check this out. All right, so here we are on the roof. As you can see, we are on the roof, and uh, we're going to have to be ex ex removing this little piece here where my finger is. That's where they all are. That whole section is completely filled up, and uh, we have to move that out. And there's our vacuum. It works very nicely. Well, we're going to put that to the test today, and uh, yeah, they really are big. So we are hoping to fill two brood boxes full of comb and larvae. Uh, I just really hope they stay because the other box that we had there they said nope they're going away and they forfeited a whole lot of comb and larvae and eggs and everything else um, so yeah let's see how it goes let's see how it goes they've been very quiet at the moment not much activity yet but I think once we start lifting this thing and uh, getting some action in there I think they're gonna be buzzing around a bit <laughs> So we'll see how that goes, yeah. Yeah, that's fine, we can put it behind the box. Let's see how it goes. Alright, so we managed to get the piece out of there. We're now just in the process of trying to vacuum them up. And uh, we hope that they are going in. But uh, as you can see, this is a sizable piece of comb that they've built out here. And that's just most of it. Most of it is, not most of it, but a good few bit of it is still actually in the roof, which we'll have to stretch down ourselves and actually get. Uh, but there is plenty of honey here. There is absolutely plenty of honey. Definitely keeping my eye out for the queen. But I just see drones, a lot of drones. Mostly drones. Yeah. My boots actually aren't even on properly, but eh. That's where they came from. It's a big piece. Yeah, no, it's fine. No, it must be. There is a lot of honey. I'm going to try and see if I can see the queen this side, maybe. Maybe see how much is in there. Not much, not much. You basically took almost all of it out. Yeah, that was the, the bulk of it. It might, might not, because they might be sitting at the bottom or the sides. And then it will make the space smaller, so it should be. Stronger. Yeah, in essence, yeah. But this is 
Yeah, I'm busy yesterday too. But there's a lot of bees yesterday. I'm very surprised at them not being so aggressive. They've hardly come and hit me once. No, myself. They've been very far. The smoke may just help us. Maybe. It's a Musa drone. To spot the queen, yeah, it's gonna be quite a challenge. Not gonna lie. Mm -hmm. Right, so I'm gonna give a hand cleaning this up, and uh, you guys will see us back when half of it is done again. I'll give another shot, and I'll show you guys how it's going. Alright guys, so we managed to get a lot of it done. Unfortunately, we couldn't put it all on video because I didn't have my stand with me. Pity. But uh, I'll show you now the aftermath of us actually removing a thing. As you saw earlier, we actually had that whole thing flipped around. And uh, we managed to vacuum a whole lot of bees up. And uh, also put one brood full. There's a still a guy walking around on me. Here. <laughs> one brood full of, of comb. And then a second brood on top of that with three frames of, of babies. So... There was definitely a lot of bees in there. Um, I don't think we were able to get all of the uh, uh, adult bees. They were just, they, they're so clever. They're hiding between a beam and the concrete, so we can't get in there. And the vacuum isn't strong enough to suck them up from there because that could lead to damaging them. Um, but check out here. I'll show you guys what it looks like now. All right, so we managed to, as you saw earlier, we, we opened up this section of the roof and we completely pulled the rod out. And uh, that is the piece there that we pulled out. You can actually see where the wax was sitting, just to give you some comparison as to as to how much wax there was on there. Absolute ton. And uh, this is the honey. So this is an absolute bucket load of honey and a ton of wax that we can use to remake frame sheets. So this is really nice for us to reuse. And yeah, this is pretty much it. I haven't get, I didn't get zapped once. My dad got zapped a good few times. Um, but other than that, we're coming out alive. This is the box that we're using to transport all the frames in. If they do decide to bugger off, we will then reuse these frames on colonies that we have already that can use the boost of babies and honey and etc. etc. So it'll be very nice to reuse that what's in there. And yeah, we're just going to neaten this place up a bit. And uh, yeah, perfect. No, no, yeah, we won't walk there. And that's pretty much everything. Let me go ahead and show you guys the way we've got the vacuum and all these bees in the bee box that we vacuumed. So this is the vacuum box and you can see all the bees inside. It's a bit of a glare at the moment. Um, you can't see too well, but in there you can see something inside. They're running around the light at the moment, but they're in there, they're in there. That gives you a better view on the back. But yeah, there's a lot in there, so that's really good. Yeah, so welcome back. So we basically finished everything yesterday, and uh, and uh, we managed to extract all the, the the honey and the boxes and everything from that bee removal that we did that you were watching. Um, so I'm just going to give you a quick glimpse of all the honey that we've managed to extract from them. And uh, we did put that, ape, that box with those bees in the apiary with the vacuum bees. So let's just hope, fingers crossed, that they stay. It would be really nice because it was a really nice, nice uh, sized colony. So let's hope they stay. I really hope so. But check out all the honey that we managed to get. I mean, this is the big bucket that we managed to scoop up. This is, this is like just half, not even half. This is still more than half. I've managed to put some in there. And this is just the, the excess of you know comb and everything else that's there with with larvae and all that stuff i don't want that to get mixed with the honey itself but yeah this is it man that's a lot of honey you can actually see the line of honey in here already the line of honey is running there so it's already that full with honey 
in there already, which is <laughs> a lot. But yeah, I'm going to definitely try and keep some comb. If I can sell some comb to people, that'll be fantastic. That's a, that's a very nice piece right there. Um, but yeah, it was a really interesting removal. And uh, it was very, very challenging. I hope you managed to catch all of that and, and watch us remove that big colony. Unfortunately, as I mentioned earlier, I couldn't have the whole thing on video because I didn't have my stand with me, so I couldn't put my phone to actually watch us remove it properly. But you saw the size of it. It was massive. And it took us, we got there at about just after 5 p.m. And we only finished at the house at about half past nine. So it took us a good few hours to make sure that everything was gone there. And uh, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed that. So please be sure to give this video a like and subscribe to our channel to keep up to date with our latest videos. And we would love to see you again in, at the next one. So have a good one. Chat soon, guys.